I think it's it's recording okay. now. Yeah. So um, you're 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 you've got it on your right leg, mm-hmm. and the the neck is dropped down so it's not aiming up to the sky. Um, you're holding it with your arm in such a way that whatever way you can put your right leg up on something. I use a yoga block and that was comfortable for you. Um, And your hand should be in a nice natural position. Your wrist should be uh, straight through here, not cocked down like this, not cocked up like that, just straight. It shouldn't be out like this. It shouldn't be in like this. It should just be in a natural position. Mm -hmm. Um, Your hand, I don't care whether your hand is back here or up here, but this is where I'm comfortable playing, so this Mm -hmm. is where I'm going to show you. Remember this short string, the fifth string? That's the fifth string. Mm -hmm. The string down here is the first string. That's a little counterintuitive. So just remember, when I say first string, it's this one down here. First, second, third, fourth. And the short one is the fifth string. Mm -hmm. You're never going to pick up on any string like this. Anything you do is going to be hitting down. Down with the back of your nail, or in your case with the pick, once you get one. Okay, so... uh, First, we're going to do diddy, 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 okay? Mm-hmm. So you're hitting down, and it can be a brush, but when you brush, you have a tendency to just come part way. And I want you to brush till your, finger is, your fingers have cleared the first string. Mm-hmm. They're all the way off. And then, you're, so you do that, and then your finger, your thumb, plucks the, the fifth string. It comes down on it, and then it pulls it off. Mm-hmm. So it's not like it's having to reach for it. It's already there. Then it comes off. There. And it comes off. Brush. Thumb. 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 Now, that's diddy did diddy diddy. Now we're going to do a bum diddy. So, this is like one and you don't play the fifth string, and then you come down again, and this time you do play the fifth string. But your thumb comes down regardless. It just doesn't go like that. So coming down, and then coming down again, and the fifth string. Once again, make sure, if you're doing just a brush, make sure your finger clears all the strings. You don't want to go like this. Mm-hmm. There will be times when we do, but we're not right now. So I'm going to do this a little bit, and you'll just do this with me. One, two, and... If you count it with numbers, your thumb falls where you'd say and. One, two, and, three, four, and. If you read music, this would be a measure. Is two bum ditties, or one, two, three, four. That's one measure of music, also called a bar. Bum, diddy, bum, diddy, bum, diddy. Now you want to make sure your fingers aren't coming straight like this, because it's hard to actually make much noise that way. And you don't want to turn them down so they're doing this. They're just kind of at a natural angle. They are actually kind of, they kind of make an angle that starts this way and goes this way. But that's okay. So after you've got this motion and you've practiced this, bum, diddy, bum, and you have it nice and natural, try to sort of specialize. Instead of brushing all the strings, we're going to play just the first string. The only thing is, instead of a brush, instead of this, I'm just hitting down on the first string. First, first, fifth, finger, finger, thumb, finger, finger, thumb, finger, finger, thumb. Now, once you have that down, something to practice would be, bum, that's the first string, and then second string, third string fourth string, third string, second string, first string, second string, third string, fourth string, third string, second string, first string, two, three, four, three, Now, 
a lot of times that bum ditty is like picking out the first one and then a brush and thumb. Mm -hmm. So you can practice it that way too. Instead of, you can go bum ditty. Mm -hmm. So hit the first string, brush, fifth, first string, brush, fifth. And I'm going to show you how that all goes to make a tune. Because I want you to get familiar with this tune, Shady Grove, so that um, uh, we can work on it next week. So, um... Now, when it comes to your left hand, we started a little bit of work with the left hand. Um, I know somebody who does banjos, he does a workshop, and he doesn't let you touch the banjo with your left hand for a week. Okay. So, but, so there's no, there's no harm in doing this right hand mm -hmm. all week long. Left mm -hmm. hand is easier, really, in a way than the right hand. Mm -hmm. But what I want you to avoid is, is a tendency to do this, you know, to try to make things while your hand's like this. Keep it here in the crook, loose. This isn't going to wrap all around tightly. It's just going to loosely lay there. And then um, when your fingers come down on the strings, they're going to come down straight on top of them, just behind the fret, like little hammers. Mm -hmm. So instead of lying on them like this, it's going to come straight down on top of them. Instead of like this, it'll be like this. Okay. And this is where having short fingernails on your left hand is a good thing. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, ideally to have really short fingernails on the left hand and really long fingernails on the right hand. Not really long, but longer. But you're going to get a pick and that'll be fine. So you're going to practice, you're going to practice this. And make sure that when you're practicing it, that you also listen to what mm -hmm. I'm doing and try to just match that sound. Mm -hmm. um, one trap that people fall into, there are two traps I see people fall into all the time when they're just starting. One is instead of make, using their whole hand as a unit, they'll like pluck out with their Which finger. Doing, and yeah. you don't want to do that. Yeah. And you don't want to do it with your index, with your pinky. That's not really the <laughs> ideal finger for this. Middle is fine. Index is fine. Okay. Um, but one of those, pick one of those and, and make it your specialty. Whatever okay. one feels more right to you. So that's one thing is that, mm -hmm. you know, another thing that people do sometimes is they, they will want to, in order to get accuracy, they will brace their finger and thumb together. Well, okay. then your thumb's not ready up here where it's supposed to be. Your thumb's okay. practically stuck like glue to this fist string. It just comes off and makes a noise sometimes. Mm -hmm. So don't brace with that. Another thing is this, and I think you can probably hear the difference between these two things if you listen carefully. Here's the first one. And here's the other one. Is there a difference? You're hitting the bottom string. I'm hitting all the same strings, but the emphasis and the timing is a little different. Uh -huh. So the, the, the downbeat, the, what you're going to tap your foot to is coming down on the first string. Now I know my thumb came down too, but right now we're talking about the first string. Mm -hmm. One, two, and three. important so that you don't practice the wrong thing. Okay. So even if you match with the video, you'll be you'll be in good shape. All right. Thank All right. you. Now push that button again.